YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make these reactive targets. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so just uh, kick back and enjoy. And if you want to see all the shots and just skip the how to video, go ahead and skip all the way past seven minutes and uh, you'll get there. All right. Enjoy the how to and uh, stick tuned for the rest of the uh, reactive shots. Okay, to start off, you're going to need a, one of those sand beds like we did with the uh, lead ingots. You don't want to make a bowl shape. You're going to want to have a screw, some melted lead, and uh, a, a nut. So once you pour your lead in here, you want to put your screw in pretty quick uh, before the lead cools down. Now this screw with the nut gives you a base. And you can take the screw off after the, the lead has cooled down. You can unscrew it and it'll already have the shape, you know, the threading for that screw and any other screw that is the same screw. I use a very thin one and uh, I make sure they're at least, at least one and a half inches long so I can get some good, you know, kind of body with it so it has some, some more room to play with. So once you're done, you can put your sand away and uh, start working on your target. Right here, I'm using one of these Halloween plastic skulls. Uh, I got it for a dollar and there's like one of them in the bag in the little mesh bag and at first you want to just cut out kind of a little hole on the top uh, I got a drill and I'm just gonna drill a uh, hole big enough for the screw head to go all the way through I'm gonna drill a hole both on top and bottom you'll see me potting through this thing and uh, just having a little trouble finding the right drill bit so I'm sizing it up from a smaller one to a bigger one so I'm gonna get now I'm gonna do the bigger drill bit and once I've got it drilled through where I can actually fit the uh, screw through there, I'm also going to use a washer as a plate at the bottom so the screw doesn't just fall through after a couple shots. So I've gotten it in there with the washer and I put one of the one of my other nuts that fit that screw uh, or bolt uh, in there. I'm going to take this uh, sand off here and I'm also going to take off that bolt that's already in there and the washer should stay, I mean the, the nut should stay in there with it to give you kind of more of a solid base but if a nut comes out it's okay because the threading is already in the lead and there's not, nothing bad is going to happen from you just doing straight bolt to lead. So now that uh, I've got my hole cut out and everything and it's all ready to go I'm going to just screw this right into the lead base and actually first I'm going to secure my, uh, my skull by putting a uh, a nut all the way to the top of the base. Now I'm having a little trouble with this because it's a little rough. I gotta clean out the I gotta clean the the bolt a little bit. But I'm speeding through this so it won't be too bad. I'm just getting a second one and just need some tools right now to kind of speed things along. And as you can see right now it's just it's just finding the right size nut that's the issue. And I've got it. Just using a couple tools get in there tighten it down and I'm using a uh, screwdriver in one end to hold the bolt and I'm just tightening down the nut as best as I can you want it to be nice and snug because uh, you'll see in one a couple of shots it comes a little loose because it wasn't that snug on the big plate so here we go and just screw it right in and if the nut that you used earlier is fully submerged, that's fine because it'll stay in place. So just screw it right in there so you get to either to the base of it or until you're pretty much, you know, uh, at the satisfactory length that you want. So there it is. It's almost ready to shoot. There's just a couple steps left. And right here, as you see, I made three of them actually, three different sizes. Uh, for the base same skull different base uh, I went with a small uh, three ounce uh, four ounce and a six ounce base so we'll see how these work out because I wasn't sure which would be the best obviously the more weight you have behind it the uh, less it'll wobble you know the quicker it'll stabilize when it gets shot now we're gonna put the powder in there I have right here some good old 99 cent store chalk sticks uh, the for the sidewalk chalk and they're not the best 
but uh, they still work. And I also have this uh, chalk powder from Home Depot, cost me two bucks. And I have two different colors for the chalk powder. Uh, you'll see uh, a, a light, lighter color, which is great for uh, darker time, when it, whenever, whenever it's uh, not that bright out. And a darker color, when it is bright out, it's easier to see. And uh, those chips are good. If you want to mix the two up, it's even better. You get a better reaction if you have both solid and powder in there. So, all right, hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, after 20 odd shots, this one took the most because it's the heaviest plate at the bottom, so it didn't move as much. Uh, most of these are entry wounds. A lot of the pellets are still inside of the uh, skull here, and uh, it's, it could still take quite a few shots. And the more holes that it has, the more <laughs> of an effect it'll get since it'll be more ports for that powder to fly out of. This one didn't take as many shots as the medium. One of them is still stuck <laughs> inside there. Uh, this is probably one of the uh, one of the last shots that I had, and it was a uh, it's a uh, the CO2 wasn't putting out as much power, and this is the one I put the chips in, and it did all right. It did all right. I think the powder works a little better. Uh, you might want to want to put some panels in there or something to kind of just collapse and kind of poof up the powder. Uh, this one actually did have a few things in there to stop. As you can see, the back is not as damaged because I did put um, a little bit of a little plastic lining in there, the little the little tough uh, uh, lining from the from uh, the, the bite tubes and as you see just a little bit of bulging back here every once in a while but most of the damage is up front not too damaged this is the smallest one so it took the least amount of hits because it was the first one to fall back uh, the heavier the weight the more you're gonna you know be able to kind of keep up there the lighter the weight obviously it's gonna move more but if you're on a flat surface if you're not if you don't have it on the table like I did I had a little, a, a little two by four that's on a on top of a brick uh, you can keep shooting it because it'll just move back it won't really affect too much of it but uh, this one the one that did take the most shots is so it was super shredded it, it had to have taken at least like half the shots because I did a total of uh, 24 shots and the uh, smallest got the least actually the small the medium got the least the smallest already had a couple shots in it and uh, some of them didn't even penetrate, they just kind of hit and glanced off. It just made a little dent. Uh, this is a lot of fun. This, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, look forward to my next video, which will be a uh, uh, more of a reactive target for uh, New Year's. So, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy.